There was a lot of change for Maryland football this offseason. And on the offensive side of the ball, that was highlighted by the additions of Tyrese Chambers and Kane Prather. But in the season opener against Towson on Saturday, it was a familiar face in new digits that broke through for this Maryland offense. Corey Dyke just saw plenty of action as a rotational tight end a year ago. But now in a much bigger role, it's clear he's one of Talia Tungavaloa's favorite targets. Dyke just hauled in six passes for 108 yards and a score Saturday, proving he's the playmaker that his teammates and coaches know he can be. Corey's been one of those guys that we've identified as a playmaker. So what we saw Corey do today was things he did all camp long. And, you know, it started last year with him in terms of the, the, the value he gives us in a passing game. And, you know, he had a big day, uh, executed really well, and it was good to see that from Corey. You know, he's a playmaker just like all of our other guys. And um, that's just, you know, our offense and how we process things. You know, we try to get the ball in our playmakers' hands, and, and they do the rest. Not only is Dyche just making big plays, but he's doing so with a new number, one that he has history with. Dyche just wore the number two during his time at Potomac High School, but now gets a chance to rep it with the Terps. I never really wanted it, but it was just more so like, it was just a new opportunity, and I figured I would just take it. The Dyche and Tungavailoa connection will only get stronger as the season goes on. And Dyche knows that with Leah under center, we can expect a lot more plays like this throughout the fall. He, he's just a, one of, the, if not the best quarterback in the nation, he's just talented. So, I mean, being able to just have him as a QB is a blessing because everybody doesn't have that. For Terrapin Sports Central, I'm Nathan Schwartz.